tonight, withdrawn or not withdrawn? The question on many minds in the face of damaging reports that the supplementary budget presented by the finance minister on Wednesday is fraught with grievous errors. Simply put, the figures don't add up. That's according to the minority. While we've been preparing to come on air, the Ministry of Finance has issued a statement about the ensuing controversy. You want to stay with us here on Joint Caucus because we have a strong panel from Parliament to dissect the issues. Also, on Monday, the Deputy Information Minister, Samuel Okujetua Blakwa, brought out a letter that sought to implicate MPP's Nanado, the flag bearer, in a judgment debt case. Well, the opposition MPP quickly rubbished it. The 2012, in this year, we've seen a number of such cases. Tonight, we will have the final say on all those cases and also explore what the solutions are. We will delve into these matters shortly, and I'll also introduce you to my strong panel. But before we do that, I also want to give you a taste of what happened on Minority Caucus earlier this week. This African Wyoming case. <laughs> African Automobile Limited. African Wyoming Limited. <laughs> there was a case in court that African Wyoming has claimed 14 million Ghana, uh, 40 million Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. That 140 billion. Old cities. Old cities. Mm -hmm. And when the case was about to be, judgment was about to be delivered, these guys went to tell the judge, oh, wait a minute, judge, hey, wait a minute, On wait the a court, minute. The, 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 the government, we yeah. are prepared to pay, to pay the one for the billion cities. <laughs> now, they, for, they, 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 got a, they, they forgot. You see, that's a, ah, okay, we are fools. Why didn't we bring this case home <laughs> to settle? We are fools. Why didn't we bring, we allowed this case to go to the, uh, the trade. Now, we are losing this 40 billion. We are losing this one forty billion. That's what happened. They realize all of a sudden they are losing that 140 billion. Because they have made their calculations that this money too is coming. You see? And they realize like, the state will win the case. It, no, is no, this no, why they are raising it, money it for the It is not the state profit. winning the case. <laughs> it is them losing 140 no, billion. I'm that saying that they realized too late that the state was yes. going to win the case it, and that they will lose it is, so, so the is money. This is not corruption <laughs> and collusion. <laughs> this is absolutely corrupt. It is because of this that JJ Rollins is angry with them. J.J. Rollins is not angry because they have not prosecuted MPP. They have taken 18, 18 cases to court and lost all of them. They go about pleasing themselves that J.J. is saying we have not prosecuted you. No, you have prosecuted us to the best of your ability. But because of such stealings, that is why J.J. is uh, uh, angry with you. Now, that's what I call the politics of judgment debts. Let's listen to the majority caucus. What did they have to say about the many issues that came up this week? We have laws in the region which has never been dreamed of by any government. Okay. Even if people have it on, uh, I mean, uh, in their dreams, but it has never been implemented. Mm. And indeed, this is making NDC mm. flying higher okay. than before in the region. One has to do with the Fufusu Solar Road, mm -hmm. which links Northern Region to the Upper West Region. Okay. Since the inception of the region, let me put it that way, there hasn't been any meaningful uh, 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 attempt mm. to at least construct that road. Today, as we talk, there are four different contractors working on that road. Mm. It opens northern region to the upper west region, and even Ga and even northern region to the rest of the uh, of the world, because we have uh, the Damongo Game Reserve okay. along that particular road, and many tourists uh, sometimes refuse coming to visit this site because there's no motorable road. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, MPP also recognize this, the importance of this particular road. And on the 5th of December 2008, mm -hmm. His Excellency President Kufo, then President of the Republic then, uh, demonstrated 
<laughs> a short cutting ceremony okay. by moving a bulldozer on that road to indicate that their government is committed and for that matter, the people should vote for them. Meanwhile, you had eight years at, the, at your disposal. Wow. You couldn't do anything. <laughs> Just That's about revealing. three days to exit office, mm. you have gone there to demonstrate that you are committed to the people. Mm. They were doing all these things just to sway the votes of the people around the Gondjaland area okay. because of the impact of His Excellency the Vice President John mm. Draman Mahama, mm. who was area. also a candidate, okay. a, a, a running mate, mate then. So that was an excerpt from mm. the Majority Caucus. With me in the studio today to look at the issues we are going to be discussing are Dominic Nitu, MP for Bimbala and member of the Finance Committee of Parliament. Also, Bernard Mona, General Secretary of the PNC. We're expecting Alfred Abayate, who is the uh, Deputy Chair of the Finance Committee of Parliament. He'll be joining us also here as we discuss the issues, starting with the supplementary budget. Well, just as we were preparing to come on air, the Finance Ministry issued a statement about the supplementary budget. I want to read that and then we'll start our discussion. It's signed by the, uh, the finance minister himself. It says the Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning wishes to bring to the attention of the general public and all stakeholders that the ministry has not, repeat, not, and those are the words captured in this statement, repeat, not, in bold letters withdrawn the media review of the budget statement and economic policy and supplementary estimate presented to Parliament by the Honourable Minister of Finance and Economic Planning on Wednesday, July 18, 2012. The Ministry has recalled the documents distributed to MPs for correction and not the one laid at the clerk's uh, table. The printed document distributed to members was found to contain typographical and formatting errors. The document laid at the clerk's table by the minister is still with Parliament. The correction has been effected and the document sent back to Parliament. We wish to reiterate that the ministry has not withdrawn the supplementary budget. Thankfully, I have a member of the Finance Committee with me in the person of Mr. Nituo. Uh, thank you for joining us here on joint caucus also as i said we have bernard mona they are in the studio we're expecting uh, mr barnett to also join us what do you make of the statement evans let me say good evening to your listeners and take the opportunity to look at the statement first of all nobody signed this statement so i won't take it serious that's the first thing. oh it's signed signed there's by signature who? there's no there's nobody there's no name to it first of all it says issued by the public relations minister of foreign affairs and economic planner who signed it so today if this were to go to court who are we going to hold responsible so for me, the government is not taking its work seriously. It says Ministry of Finance and Economic Planning. So who signed it? Place. What's the name of the person who signed it? Well, it has a clear signature. And, and to be fair, to be fair to him, uh, there's a signature on the document, but that signature doesn't bear name. So you can see a signature, but there's no name to it. So who percent. signed it? Is there one person? Signed, signed. Is, so is it only one person at the uh, Public Affairs Department of the Ministry? No, there are several people who are working there. So who signed it? So, uh, so you want a name? They are not taking their one specific serious. name. Please, yeah. this is the this is the work of this is the most important statement of the uh, of the government around this time, the media review budget. You will sign to s tell the people of Ghana that you have not withdrawn the document because the minority is saying that look. The document you have laid contains factual errors. And for that matter, you need to withdraw it and relay it. You, you have come to Parliament to lay this very document. This is the one they say it contains the errors. And I'll tell you why we believe that the work needs to be done properly, and so we have to lay it. Can, can, we, can we start with that? Because we both would need to understand yes. what necessitated Good. this particular statement. statement. And a, a statement that has not been properly done. First of all, when you say from even the... Let's start from the heading or the, 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 the first uh, topic. Supplementary budget speech. It's never been done anywhere that you call it a supplementary budget speech. So that speech must be taken off and the word statement inserted there. It's a, sub it's a budget statement. That's how come that... Statement that is delivered in yes. the form of a speech. Good. So, you know, but in, in the heading, go check all your budgets. That's how come that when 
he was putting there, he used the word statement, budget statement. You don't use the word speech. Now come to, I'm just looking at, the, come to the tables. All the tables that you have, if it's table 12, then you have 12, 12, 12, 12, just like that. You should have 12A, 12B, so that you can refer to each of the tables. I'll give you an example. Um, this is table 13, you see? You see table 12. Have you seen table 12? Mm -hmm. They are different, they, are di they, they show, they could know different things. This is table 12, table 12. So for example, if I'm referring to table 12 in my contributions, or I'm writing something, this is a document that is a property, it's not the property of the Republic of Ghana and Parliament, and you are referring to table 12, what, what do you refer to? Nothing. Table 13 is the same thing. That is just by the way. But the main issues have to do, for example, with, let's go to uh, uh, table 1. That's the biggest problem, because they brought a corrected version today, this morning, though it has not been printed out for all of us who have copies, mm. but they brought a corrected version. This particular figure, which is 13 here, mm -hmm. the corrected, uh, every year, which is 12 here, the corrected version is 12 billion instead of 11 billion, which is here. The, f the, the original document that you had 11, on Wednesday. It's 11 billion. Now the, the new figure is saying what? Uh, 12 billion. There's been an increase of 1 billion? 1 billion. That is, these are the major, major, major corrections that they need to do. Now, there are uh, some, uh, let me borrow the word from Martin, uh, Martin I mean, the gargantuan uh, errors in the document itself. I may be pointing out you to someone. You just told me one. I've just given you one. Mm -hmm. I've just given you the issue of the table. Uh, I've given you the issue of the, 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 the title itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's, 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 this, that's some of the, these are some of the reasons why they think that they have to take it off. Okay, then the figures themselves, mm -hmm. because you see the statement itself has, it's a motion that you moved, and the motion has given you a particular figure. Okay, you are moved, you are saying, Madam Speaker, we are, and I quote, we are therefore requesting approval for a total amount of 2 billion, 613 million, 407,346 cities, mm -hmm. Ghana cities. That's what you are requesting. But when you add up, when you go to the budget itself and you start adding up, you come to a figure close to 2.66 something, instead of 2.61 that they are requesting. So, so they are requesting 2.6. But when you, add up, yes, when you add up the figures, you will realize that it is more than what is here. Okay, so let me just break it down. The figure that you have in the budget, yes. what they are asking you to approve is 2.6. 2.1, 2.1, that's, what they are asking, the statement they are looking for is 2.61. Exactly, three. so that's what they are asking for. Yes, but when you go but into the budget You're saying itself, that when you, when you actually check the budget yes. and do the addition, it's, it's it, more it, than that. It, it, it's more than this? That, it's more than that. It comes to? It comes to 2.66 something. Okay. And that's over, five, that's close to, that's a lot of money. Okay, that's over 500 million. That's a lot of money. So they have to reconcile this. Because even the PESWA, if, so, if so, for example... So they, they underquoted the figure they, they actually need. No, not that they actually need. They needed this. Mm -hmm. But when, they ch when you look at the budget itself, the figures mm -hmm. are more. And two, in budget, in budget preparation, every PESWA should be the same. When you are doing that preparation, every PESWA, even if there was a seven year, it must tally. Mm -hmm. What you have asked for and your expenditure must tally. There is, should not be even a PES one more. If one is six years and the other is seven, no, it must not. So you must ensure that everything tallies. So if you are looking for a budget statement, you say the budget statement is two billion six hundred and thirteen million four hundred and seventy thousand three hundred and forty six. Then every addition and expenditure you must want give you exactly, exactly that, not that. a penny more, not a penny more, not a peso one more. But in this case, it's what five five million? About uh, more than five million, about five hundred million, a little bit more. So we are we are looking at that. We are asking them to bring the real budget, then we can compare and know exactly. Isn't Ooh. that a genuine error? Maybe we are not saying that. We are not holding them to say that maybe somebody is trying to cheat or something. That's not what we are we are we are we are saying. We are just saying that these are genuine factual. Big errors, and and that goes to the core of it. If you are you are reading a statement and you say this is what I need, but your expenditure supersedes that, then you must ensure that you table a new statement. Two, you see when you come to when you come to the the budget statement itself and you look inside, okay, you will you will realize that. 
he's put something there. Well, we may be as finance uh, uh, committee, we may be looking at that. But normally, it is not. It is not done that way. And so sometimes I wonder why the minister did it that way. For example, I'm looking at uh, the budget build-up so that we can be able to look at it and then get the correct figures that we are looking for. Look, when you come to the budget build-up itself here, and then we are adding, you add the under-recoveries here, you add the other expenditures here, you add all these, the arrears that he has added, you add the weight bill. That's why I told you that when you add all these things, they measure more than that. Then the biggest other problem we are also facing is that you go to table one. Table one is the minister is looking for discrepancy. You see, he's looking for money for, you know, this discrepancy is a, a, a balancing act, okay? You are looking for arrears, you are looking for wages, you are looking for subsidies and discrepancy. So we are getting confused about why the minister will put that in the budget, discrepancy. I cannot, you, I cannot give you money. You cannot come to parliament and say, give me money for discrepancies. That is not done anywhere. So all these major errors are the issues that we say, look, if there are major errors and you have found the wisdom to withdraw this very document, what you have simply said is that there is no document that the finance committee is looking at or parliament is finance committee is looking at on behalf of parliament. So if you have withdrawn the very document that you have come to place in front of us and you are introducing a new one and what you are introducing, are, there are changes in it, then you have to come and lay that very document. That's the rule of parliament. That's how come Madam Speak agreed with the minority today that if they have withdrawn the very document that they laid before us, mm -hmm. then they will have to come back and lay the new document because it contains. Does that, 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 that also mean that the finance minister will have to come and read it again? No, he, would, he, he does not need to come and read the whole budget, but he needs to come and move the motion. It will be advertised on the other paper, and then he will come and move the motion again. This very motion, Madam Speaker, we are therefore requesting that kind of motion. The change figure. It's, it's a motion. They will put a motion there. He would need to move the motion and quote exactly what he's looking for. So, what he's looking for and the expenditure must match. So at the end of the day, when we are doing the appropriation, we'll look at the expenditure patterns that you have done and what the finance minister is looking for must match. Income expenditure must match. I see. Nothing. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, that uh, uh, is where we have a problem. So if they claim they haven't withdrawn the budget, they are just being smart. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll look at that because... has been withdrawn. And I'm, I'm surprised. Because we'll, we'll, we'll be joined uh, on the phone by Mr. Bayate, uh, and I'm sure that Bernard is dying to have his say about uh, this developing controversy. We'll speak to him, also get a PNC stake on what is happening because it's our budget. It's a budget that affects your life and affects my life. And we're going to uh, ask some questions about it because our discussion has centered so far on a supplementary budget. The minority is pointing out, they claim, uh, some errors, discrepancies in the supplementary budget that was presented on Wednesday. Thankfully, I'm joined in line by Mr. Bate, who is also on that uh, finance committee of parliament. He represents the uh, majority side on that committee uh, he was supposed to be here but uh, he's joined us on the phone to answer some questions about uh, the budget and try and help us understand what these discrepancies are exactly thank you sir uh, for your time here on joint caucus we've just been told by mr nutuo uh, your colleague on that uh, same uh, committee that you came asking for 2.6 in excess uh, billion uh, to supplementary budget basically to finance your plan for the rest of the year now he's saying that that figure doesn't add up because when you do the additions, you're getting slightly more than that, in excess of five million, he says. Where from that discrepancy, sir? Are you on the line, sir? Can you hear me? Hello, could you please speak louder, please? Can you hear me now, sir? Is it better, sir? Hello? Is it better, sir? Can you hear me? Uh, I am driving, so I've parked, so I'm listening to you now. Great. Now, the minority uh, says that the supplementary budget you presented on Wednesday has serious discrepancies in them. The amount of money you've gone to ask, they are saying that when they do the tally, the figure that they get is more than what you are asking for, in an excess of $5 million, they are saying. How come we're having this discrepancy in a budget that was presented to Parliament and laid for discussion and debate? Thank you very much. I wish... If the minority is saying this, 
the best place for you to check your figures before you come on there is to get in touch with the Minister of Finance. Please, I beg to say that wisdom is not the property of one person. Therefore, if, for instance, I have made a presenting presentation and you asking me this question, see something wrong with it. Is it Mr. C? When Mr. C says something, is it a Mr. C one that you have to take on or the originator of the first of the issue from where you must source uh, the information from? That is what the minority is saying. Why not you contact the Minister of Finance? For him to tell you that my figure is right or my figure is wrong. Can I share some... I some... don't take instruction or anything from Dr. Akoto. Can I share... I take what the prayer... Could you, you ask me, can I please finish before you come in? Okay. The please proceed because I have to share some information with you. That is what you have to take. I, the Minister of Finance, when he presented his statement, the second paragraph he said it is an abridged version. However... He is urging the answer department to capture the whole statement as read. I want to find out from Dr. Koto when he was Minister of State. When was the time that he has made a presentation of budget by Honorable, uh, when he was Minister of State or Deputy Minister? Has he ever made a statement, read the budget, and read the tables and the indices at the end? Have they ever done that? Those things are part of the main budget that when we are working, we use. So if today they want Dr. Dufour to read all the indices at the back and the in the, uh, appendices, then they must say so. Uh, is, is it the, I want to clarify. Are you saying that what was presented on Wednesday was not the final copy? Oh, you didn't hear what I said. Don't put words in my mouth, please. Um, that's what I'm that asking. Not what I said. That is what I'm asking I for clarity. I said the minister when he was reading, he said I will urge the uh, he was he pleaded with the Hansa department to capture the whole budget as read. Therefore, the Hansa department, uh, when they are printing the budget, setting, they will bring every figure, everything there. That is why I'm asking whether that when he was in you know, the minister of state. Have they ever read the budget and read the, the appendices and the indices behind? Have they ever done it? It, so, it is captured by the hands that. Why is it that when Dr. Dufour has that, that should be captured, they have a problem with it? Why are they shifting the goalposts? So, so, so again, for clarity, so what you're saying is that the other details can be found in the segment um, on, on that specifies the various figures that uh, the, the hands that must capture. That is what is always done when the budget is read. When the budget is read, the expenditure sheets and all those things at the end. That is is where we have revenue. Where it's coming from. The, uh, from the, and those things and the, uh, the statutory payments and all those things, they are at the end. Nowhere have any minister read those figures. But when the hazard is capturing, because it captures everything. I don't know why our brethren are having a problem. Is the country of your property? M M Mr. Bayate, can I, I just quickly want to ask this, though, because you're talking about the appendix, but what you're referring to is in respect of the amount you asked, the, the total amount of, of money you asked to finance your program for the rest of the year, which the is captured in the main document. The Minister of Finance placed before Parliament asking for an appropriated figure of about 2.6 million billion Ghana cities as supplementary estimates. That is what the Minister of Finance asked for. The minority says therefore, that the figures... The, the figure is there. Therefore, if for instance, for example, if Finance Committee is scrutinizing the figures one by one, and we see any addition or subtraction or that, we call his attention to it. That is how we've been working. Has he, Dr. Koto, forgotten that they have presented budget and we saw figures not agreeing before? He's forgotten. At least I've been on the Finance Committee for 2005. Has he forgotten? Can I share, can I share with you quickly what I, wanted to, uh, what I wanted to share with you earlier? Because the Finance Ministry has issued a statement about this. And I want to quote 
briefly for me because you asked that uh, we check with the finance ministry this, first. I want to quickly, I want to quickly, I, I want to quickly read the finance ministry statement to you. He says that the ministry has recalled the documents distributed to MPs for correction and not Hi. the one laid at the Hi. clerk's table. That is an admission. Yeah, my, my, that is an admission my, that there are mistakes please, and errors please. in the document, the isn't it? You are in which you are. Sometimes when you are saying to you are going to say this, you say this. Hasn't it ever happened? So if I have made a presentation and I've realized that I should use the word A and I use B, therefore I call your attention to it and correct it. Are you the one who has corrected the thing or me who generated the thing who has corrected it? We are in Ghana, and we know what is happening. Human beings are mistaken. We do make mistakes. I'm not, get the picture of what I'm saying. The point they are holding on, I think they have nothing to do. If they have nothing to do, they should go to sleep. So how do you respond to those who say that a, a more thorough job should be done by the finance ministry, regardless of who is in power, My really. Brother, before the, before, before the budget is brought to parliament and presented to the people of Ghana. In our language, we are in a country where we are, we are captured. Don't use that word. That they must do that. Do you know, you know, Dr. Dufour, you know you can, he can bring you forth. We have respect for our land and our elders. Sometimes when we are using words, we might use the word correctly. Please. So you find nothing wrong at all with the Don't issues of error and mouth. corrections in there? Please, do not put words in my mouth. Do not put words in my mouth. That is not what I said. Don't put words in my mouth. Quick question then. What's the way forward here? Because we are told that uh, the, the documents have been recalled. That, the way forward is that. I have made, uh, uh, the ministry has made a presentation. They've realized a mistake in it or a fault in it. They have withdrawn it and relayed at this. Point out for those who are making the noise that when they make, they make a statement on the floor of the house and it is no good and they are asked to withdraw. When they withdraw, whether it reflects in the hands that. Why not they take the parliamentary behavior into their daily life? They've forgotten the day they present sheets of papers as bills and uh, documents for financial documents. They've forgotten. Mr. Barton. They've forgotten. And they are shifting the goalposts to suit them. Ghanaians are awake. Onyamia Unwo. Mr. Barton, I want to say a big thank you to you for your time here on Joint Caucus. I'm also grateful. Thank you very much. That's uh, Mr. Barton. He represents a majority on the Finance Committee of that uh, of the majority on the Finance Committee, indeed, he uh, was talking to us about the supplementary budget and the debate surrounding the discrepancies the minority are claiming can be found in, in that uh, budget. Let me bring in the PNC's uh, General Secretary, Bernard Mona. You heard the discussion, you heard from the two sides. What do you make of, of this back and forth now about the actual figure we should be dealing with as a country when it comes to supplementary budget? Before I make a statement on your question, let me say that I'm not comfortable that I am surrounded by an elephant and an umbrella. I thought that we had said that we also want the coconut to be part of this program, if indeed we should be here. We're going to have it. So that it will give us true, a true reflection of what we stand here for, so that at least this, this platform is a very important platform. Um, we're not here to do the bidding of the elephant or that of the umbrella. So let's have the coconut so we can do our bidding. Fair comment. But I think it's... <laughs> that was a member of parliament you spoke to. I, I, I feel totally disgusted. Unfortunate. We are raising issues. We are not talking about traditional values on this program. We are raising issues. If we wanted traditional values, I'm sure that we will not be practicing the democracy that we are practicing. And therefore, practicing the democracy does not mean we should not ask legitimate questions to ensure that if there are errors, we correct them. And in asking the questions, you say no, because Evans can be brought forth by Dr. Kobina Dufour as a son. <laughs> questions should not be asked. 
I think that it is very irresponsible <coughs> statement to come from a member of parliament. I am ashamed. I think that it shows or be portrays a certain level of pomposity. Um, if I'm just being charitable, otherwise you say arrogancy, and I don't want to, to, to see that. I think that what is important for all of us is that media reviews or budget statements, supplementary budgets, are no new or alien to any Ghanaian. It is not a new phenomenon in the House of Parliament. It has been done since God knows how long. And therefore, no member of Parliament will come and say there is no need to submit a media review. It is even found in the Constitution of Ghana that, look, as the year passes, half a year through, you have to come and report to Parliament, the people's representative, that this is what happened. How much we said we were going to do, how are we on course, whether we are deviating from it, what steps are we taking to ensure that we come back on course. It is important for the people to know so that they can report back to their constituents how far government is doing and whether the government is on course or is not on course. So I agree that by that constitutional requirement, the Minister of Finance necessarily had to be in Parliament to do a media review and also, in most <coughs> cases, request. The request that we have seen over the years, and if you see all the budget statements starting from Osafo Mafu to current, what they tell us is that it's because by the time they presented the budget for the, the, the year and the review, they will present it in the, in the following year. For instance, 2012 budget was presented in November 2011. What it means is that the last three months were not captured. And so necessarily, if you are starting 2012, you have to account for what happened in the last three, three months to see whether the projections you made are actually in line or they are not in line. And therefore, you will have to ensure that you bring this. There can necessarily sometimes are deviations that you projected and then some other variations, extraneous variables are introduced at the end of the day, it doesn't match up. That at this particular time, we are requesting for additional money to be able to meet and retire floats. We will be able to capture because we did not foresee that we'll be phasing out the old system of salaries within the public sector. Uh, and then for the single spine salary structure has consumed so much of government revenue and therefore you need to find ways of ensuring that those who are on the single spine st structure are actually supported so that you are not in areas. And indeed, we already have some areas. So I think that there is some legitimacy in these requests that they have made. I am not aware of any, but if these are the things, every Ghanaian know that why the single spine salary structure has imposed an additional burden on government, additional expenditure. And that must be sustained. The government cannot start spending money on it without seeking the approval of parliament. So I, I grant that. In the process of bringing the single spine salary structure, areas have been incurred. It has to be paid. Floats from 2011 has to be settled. So clearly, if these are the reasons for which the supplementary um, budget is put, it's right. Let me but quickly here get your take on the, on the errors that we are being told I think about. that errors, errors, we are not... In, uh, impervious to errors. There are errors and I thought that once these errors are identified, it's important for us to quickly remedy them. It is not to say that you have not done a good job. It's still, look, errors have occurred. Indeed, before I could put to the table, maybe I put an eye on uh, table 12 I, and it didn't show us an I. Mm. You understand? And, 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 and a and, question I put to Mr. Bart, I want to put to you, but some may suggest that maybe the finance ministry should be doing a more thorough job. And he makes the point that I, this is not the first time. I, I, I want to agree with you. Master, for me and you, we do work, we do presentations. You do one work, you do a review of the work. You don't discard the initial one. You put it. Sometimes by the time you want to even issue the original, the, the final one, you go and issue a mid one, something that probably was not the final one. And by the time you get to realize it has been done, I'm sure that some errors have occurred. And I agree perfectly that if errors have occurred, redraw the whole thing and resubmit it. It does not necessarily mean that then when the errors are occurred, it means that you were planning something mischievous. It's not a plan. And so why do you have to come and compound the problem with such arrogancy? <clears throat> because error has occurred. You have identified the error. The ministry said, yes, we have, we have recalled what we have given to the members of parliament, suggesting that we have admitted that some errors have come in. So if the errors have come in, take it back. Tuesday or so, you get it back to parliament and lay it. Is mm. there any crime in it?
to admit to your own error. I thought that that was a mark of good leadership to say, look, I got it wrong, but I've come to perfect it. What is this talk that I've just listened to on the phone? Mr. Nutu, I want to quickly respond to uh, Mr. Biotech quickly. Evans. Then we'll take a break and re return uh, to our next topic. This country will be a good place if we stop responding to the comments that a biotech makes and people if people make such comments. We, we, we ignore them because he never answered any of the questions we put to him. He came attacking with a listening, attacking Dr. Kutu, who is not even on this program, and attacking everybody. And indeed, I wanted comes. to point it out to him that Mr. Uh, Nitto or not uh, Mr. I'm, Kutu I'm very said. surprised. You have been asked to come for a program. You didn't come for that program. And you, you will not listen to the questions, and you are attacking everybody. Please, I think this country deserves better than the sort of leadership. Well, that, actually, uh, you went back to parliament. Yes, he's not. He lost his primaries. But I'm just saying this country deserves... But maybe he was talking about Kutu because he's your uh, finance spokesperson. Yes, I do. I know. It's because we discussed it and we asked Akoto to raise it in Parliament. So his mind is what he's talking about what happened in Parliament. In but, parliament I, yeah. but I'm just saying that, listen, we on the minority are saying that if you found it necessary to withdraw the whole document and take it back and reprint it and correct all the mistakes, it was this document you tabled in front of Parliament and said distribute it to all members of Parliament. If you've done corrections, and some of them are money corrections okay if this correction had not been identified there would have been an excess of close to over five million well but if the if you, you fail to identify the uh, errors we the people will hold all it's the members the of parliament accountable I, I, I let, let me say this because see, that is why you debated and scrutinized in the first place I, i'm just saying Evers, that i'm just saying that all finance point. ministers have made one error or the other and it Will you good. admit that quickly? No, Will I, you I, admit tell, that? I tell you something. Because Sabata made that point as well. I, I and this is the first no, time. No, I'll tell you something. Let me be very frank with you. No, but quickly, will you admit that? No, uh, let me be very frank with you. Topical mistakes, yes. Spelling mistakes, yes. Typing mistakes, yes. Tables, arrangement of tables, yes. But when it comes to the figures, okay, you cannot, so your balance cannot. Sign, no, sign excuse debt, me. debt cancellations without oh, knowing I, how much is involved. And, 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 and no, your no, government no, never no, made it. You're that saying that, that your, your government no, never Bernard, made a mistake Bernard, like this. Bernard, in, in the budget, you cannot, as a finance uh, committee of parliament, bring the appropriate act unless the two balance. Okay, so if you have a budget that does not balance, we will ask them to do it. And once we have never asked never finance committed such an error before, then we haven't seen it before. This is the first time. If they had not, if we hadn't identified this mistake, it would not have balanced, and we would have asked them to come back and do it. Well, my humble submission is that it's your job to identify the mistakes, no, they have to because be. it's and particularly uh, the minority. They have a more <laughs> important duty to scrutinize whatever government presents. After all, members of the the majority are also in the executive, so scrutiny is not. For them, it's for, for you, largely. I, I hear mm. Bernard, let me say something. Quickly, in the 30 seconds, oh, just because we have second, to wrap up. One second. The mistakes of this government on major issues are become, becoming too, no, too many. Too many. If we list them, you will not they also are, survive. Oh, but it's true. They that. are becoming too many. Let's not okay. leave them. They are becoming too many. On, 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 on that note, we'll take survive. a short no, no, break. We'll be right back. We'll open the phone lines. You can join the discussion. After all, it's your money. Let's have that big discussion here on Join Caucus. Encounter, but quickly tell me, but quickly tell me, what do you what do you think should be done to deal with these judgment debt issues? There are several proposals on the table. We have a commission, for example. Some have suggested. Some say let's leave it to EOCO to deal with. Charge can be used as well. Let's enforce the law. The PNC. I want a clear word from you on where you stand on it. We have a call on the line. Hold on. Uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us on the line. Your name and where you're calling from? My name is Zed. I'm calling from Tamale. Great. And uh, what do you have to say about the discussion we're having so far? I'm sure you've listened to the supplementary budget discussion. Yes. Actually, what the majority, the chairman for the committee. The what, vice chairman for the finance committee yes, of parliament. Yes, yes. What it is, is unpardonable. He should leave his seat for some people who are capable of managing the whole country affairs. It means that he's not capable of managing it because as we are sitting, the money or the sort of the finance they are talking about is for the whole Ghana, not for NDC nor MPP. So 
they should be careful with God will judge them. That's my question. Thank you very much. And uh, Madam Mona, we are talking about uh, the, what the position of the PNC is on the <coughs> various suggestions. On let, the me, table. let me just throw three issues. First is that, see, there are two issues we are talking. We are talking about uh, negotiated settlement, and we are talking about court rulings that has led to judgment debts. The negotiated settlements are those that can be brought to the attention of cabinet and the presidency. And therefore, the government issue of a paper that judgment debt should be brought to its ascension, cabinet must discuss it, can only be done with negotiated settlement. But with those that have been declared by the courts, my lay <coughs> law indicate that it is inappropriate if you check Article 38 that nobody can instruct the Attorney General not to pay once the court... Because it's a court order. It's a court order. Abu Bakar is on the line. Uh, <coughs> hold on, hold that uh, uh, thought for me. Abu Bakar, thank you for joining us here on Joint Caucus. Good evening. Good evening. And greetings to your panelists this evening. I just want to say that what uh, Mr. Abayate says is something that we, the youth of Ghana, are disappointed in. I believe he's an elderly man and he shouldn't have just come out openly to disgrace himself. In his party, we have people like Akuja to uh, Felix and Co. They will come out and insult people like Nana Adu and Co. Uh, Age-wise, they cannot compare. So if you stop making those remarks, we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are serious here. And the topic for discussing is a very serious business. And next time, we, we shouldn't make such remarks. It's a very simple remark. Thank you very much, Abu Bakar, for your time. Uh, final caller, Hansen. Hansen, thank you for your time here on Joint Caucus. Uh, make it in uh, uh, 60 seconds if you can. Yeah. My concern is how the Honorable Member Abayate talks. I didn't listen to all the conversation we had with him, but I listened to his feet. The way he was talking, there was some kind of arrogance. He has used to use the word. But I think an elderly person will not talk like that. I decided that to... This uh, uh, judgment debt issue, in fact, it is taking the, the it has taken Ghana to some level. I don't know, and I don't know what interest NDC has in this judgment debt. Always the minister, the deputy minister, defending the judgment debt. So they should give Ghana a break. I hope okay. come to this forum. Hansen, thank you very much for your time here mm -hmm. on the Joint Caucus. Uh, I want to quickly see, um, basically what the position is. I want to get clear word from you, Bernard. Yeah, I, um, I, I have you to, support uh, the commission? No. Because I wanted to quickly also wrap no. up on your on your no, certain, Certainly. I'm not sure that the commission on, of inquiry. So will, what solution are you proposing as a Obviously. Let's, let's, let's look at it from this way. People have gone to court. There's the inaction on actions of some chief directors or directors, workers and ministers that have led to judgment that contracts have been abrogated, laid down procedures have not been followed, and sometimes, the way I look at things, I am tempted to say that some of the institutions deliberately will collide, collude with the people to cause judgment debts, to ensure that things are not done right, so that they can go for the money. And am then, I getting you saying that prosecution is the way to go and force the law? Master, that is, that, that is the best way out. Mr. Little, where, do you, where, where does the MPP stand on this? Mm. Uh, and there's a very quick word, so I want to uh, wrap no, up on the, this point. The MPP has always said that Judgment that's uh, clothed in fraudulent uh, scandal laws and fraudulent acts are those that we have a problem with. Uh, but you would, as a government, you encounter judgment that's in various forms. But those that, the controversial ones, those that we think that there are problems with, as a nation, let's look at them from a, an apolitical point of view. That's what the MPP has always said. We, have, we know them, about six or seven of them are clothed in in controversy. In political meaning you have a presidential commission that cuts across Something all parties. Something that will not have uh, MPP and this PNC all having their own individual interests. Today you have PNC, uh, uh, MPP ministers virtually looking as if they are defending uh, the, 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 the companies against the interests of the state. And then you have MPP talking for the people of Ghana. You have that kind of scenario. But let me tell you something. Today, today, mm. let me tell you, today. Okay, great. Very quickly. Did you did you did you hear last yesterday or I don't, yeah, yesterday? Did you hear from the court? It appeared that the, the 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 what was coming out of the court was very suggestive. 
that state officials were advising people to take government to court for judgment. Did you mm. hear that before? I see. And, and, and indeed, that, this state debate... Officials. That's why I'm saying that there is collusion. This debate will not end. There and is some uh, collusion. Bernard Mona will have me for dinner tonight because I promised him he's going to have a say about his... Uh, presidential candidate's appearance at that, uh, that, that, uh, that, that, that interaction. <laughs> we, will, we will have that discussion. We will, we will get him on the show again next week when we will delve deeper into that uh, issue about the policies that the PNC stands for, which were articulated by their presidential candidates. But that's it for uh, Join Caucus tonight. My name is Evans Mensah. We are leaving you, but we leave you with something for you to chew on. I'm talking about some memorable moments from majority and minority caucus. Uh, with me in the studio, I'm sure you can recall Mr. Bayate joined us on the phone. Um, most of you called to they have your say about the things he said. Also, most of you also listened to Mr. Nutuo, who is the minorities uh, passing on the uh, Finance Committee uh, of Parliament. Also, you had the uh, General Secretary of the PNC, Bernard Mona. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Uh, thank you also for listening to us and watching. In some time ago was declared as a war zone, yeah. in quotes, yeah. a place where people were not willing to visit. Yeah. Today is one of the most attractive regions, a place where people even go to take their leisure, yeah. simply because there is peaceful atmosphere, yeah. peaceful environment, and the people coexist than before yeah. the coming of MPP. They went there and they said they want to pay the 140 billion cities. And the guy said, oh, ho. Oh. This is too much. I'm here to defend the state.